Giola, take a bow. You've made it to number one and also won the award for most Instagrammable spot on Thassos. Which takes some doing. The locals call this 20 by 15 meters rocky sea lagoon. On the southern tip of the island, Aphrodite's tear and it is without question eye-wateringly beautiful. A natural pool, carved into the rock by the sea. Its water never fails to offer beautiful contrasts. Best of all, its back reaches 8 meters, perfect for a dive, somersault, bomb or just a lazy flop into the pool. You choose your style. And when you're done, spend the rest of the afternoon swimming or lazing on the rocks. The experience is magical. This is Thassos at its natural best. Find your favorite beach. They're everywhere. Enjoying the sea is something you're going to do a lot of on Thassos. There are so many wonderful coves and beaches right around the island. Some pocket-sized and others larger and more organized. It seems wrong to single any out, but let's try. A leaky beach, on the southeastern tip, captures the very essence of the island, shimmeringly beautiful water. A backdrop of pine and olive trees and even an ancient marble quarry nearby. Elsewhere, there is Marble Beach, a small, isolated bay to the northeast. With tiny white pebbles and marble fragments in the sea giving the water its exotic color. The umbrellas and a beach bar are a testament to its growing popularity. But nothing detracts from the beauty. Just up the coast are Macriamos, two kilometers from the capital, Limnas, with shallow water, fine sand and shade making it ideal for families. And the less organized Glyphonary, with golden sand, pine trees and taverna at one end. Back on the south coast is beautiful Arsana's beach, just below the monastery of the Archangel Michael. And Paradise Beach. It takes something to be given such a name on Thassos, but it more than does it justice. Head to the hills for a taste of tradition. Imagine sunbathing on the beach in the morning and sitting in the taverna of a mountain village in the afternoon. That's what Thassos offers. Set amidst all that mountain greenery are villages that offer a taste of traditional island life. Panagia, to the northeast, is 300 meters above sea level. Offering a wondrously cooling contrast to the midday heat. You'll find narrow, cobblestone streets, stone buildings and a main square with not one but three springs. And there's an olive mill, where you can observe olive oil production using a traditional water mill. Other villages are Theologos, to the southeast, with 600 permanent residents. You can visit the mansion of Hatsigorgis, a renowned resistance fighter during the Turkish occupation, which has been turned into a museum and each August the village puts on a reenactment of a traditional Thassian wedding. To the west is Kazaviti, the oldest village on the island. Perched on the mountainside, it is in fact two villages, small and large Kazaviti, with fantastic sea views. There's a stone theater here which stages a summer festival, showcasing traditional music and dance events called Kazavitiana. Leave some space for delicious local products. Thassos is famous for its seafood. 
from sardines, anchovies and prawns to sea bream, red mullet and squid and octopus. There's a huge and delicious variety and you'll enjoy all of it. And with so many hills, streams and greenery, there is also a great choice in meat products. Goat and lamb are definitely recommendations in a mountain taverna. Thassos is also renowned for its olive oil. It even has its own distinctly wrinkled olive, the Thassian Thruba olive, which produces exceptional extra virgin olive oil with low acidity. And we end our culinary tour with something deliciously sweet, honey. With bees feeding on all those herbs and greenery. Thassian honey is renowned for its rich flavor. It is used to finish all manner of local sweets and pies, made with walnut, fig, pumpkin and other local products. Just make sure you leave some space to take some home with you. And don't forget to soak up the culture. Don't forget to explore the history and culture of this fascinating island. Rich in silver, gold and marble, Thassos received a lot of attention during antiquity, the Middle Ages and Byzantium, and was also occupied by the Ottomans when many islanders sought refuge in mountain villages. So as well as its collection of hotels, cafes, tavernas and bars, the capital Limnas also has many cultural highlights. The archaeological museum tells the story of the island since the 7th century BC, but just wandering through the old port will give you a feeling for its traditions. The Caligari Co. A two-story building belonging to Mount Athos Vatapedi Monastery has been fully renovated to host painting and photography exhibitions. Elsewhere, make sure you visit the Acropolis, on a plateau above Limnas. Walking around the peninsula from the Acropolis, you reach the ancient theatre, overlooking the sea. And heading back to the capital, you reach the ancient Agora, the original political, administrative and religious centre of the island. And you can visit an ancient marble quarry to see where the famous snow white material prized by so many generations of settlers comes from. It was literally and metaphorically the material on which Thassos was built. So there it is, Thassos, an island of magical blues and greens offering beach relaxation and mountain charm in equal measure. You'll arrive with a glint in your eye knowing you've uncovered something special and leave with a promise to return. And best of all, those colors become even more intense in May to June and September, when the experience becomes even more intimate.